Troy Wilson with RSW Solutions. This is a quick demonstration using a Windows 7 desktop environment on how to configure an Elm Wi-Fi OBD2 device. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug your Wi-Fi device into the vehicle OBD2 port and then start the vehicle. This will make sure that the device has power. Then you're going to go ahead and wait about 30 to 45 seconds for the Wi-Fi uh, SSID to fully broadcast and register with your in your Windows environment. Go to your wireless networking uh, adapter list here. Make sure that your wireless networking adapter is on. And you're going to go ahead and you should see this little uh, wireless signal indicator. Go ahead and click it and you get a listing of all the wireless networks in your area. Now, this device uh, broadcasts its SSID as VLink. Now, some have a different SSID, uh, some, but look for something that says vehicle or OBD. In this case, it says VLink. And we're going to click on VLink. And we're going to connect to it. Takes a second. We don't need to set this up. Uh, you're just going to wait. Basically, we're going, to, we're going to want to take the path of least resistance here to get through. You don't need to configure anything. We're just going to connect. There's no password. Uh, it should be a DHCP uh, router, and it should serve us up a, a uh, an IP address for for this machine. Now, uh, go ahead and pull up a Windows command prompt if you want to check um, the command is cmd to get this command prompt up. Type in ipconfig, IP config, and we'll see here that we have a valid 192 address that's been given to us. It's usually .11 is for the user, and .10 is the actual Elm Wi-Fi device that you're uh, going to communicate with. So we're done with that, and if you want to just do a, one last check, so at this point we should be able to connect with the 40CAN software. The 40CAN software right here is running we're going to do a quick connection. We're going to try our connection to the Wi-Fi device. And we're connecting, and it responded right there. There's our response, Elm327 v1.5. And we're green on the board here, we're ready to proceed and communicate with the vehicle. So those are the steps to get your Wi-Fi device up and running in a Windows 7 environment. Let me know if uh, your procedure, the steps that you perform are different, and we'll, uh, we'll work through it. Thanks.